I've got a way to save you money. As you know, we are a big fan of these portable toilet bags. Um, we like this particular bag because it is the double bag. You have the bag inside the bag. <coughs> It has the zip, double zipper on it so that you don't have to worry about it opening. Um, we put inside of it, some of them come with their own gel. We prefer the Eco Gel because of the scent that it has. It has this wonderful, wonderful lemon scent. Um, makes the whole van smell awesome. And um, of course it's environmentally friendly. But these bags are getting expensive and the eco gel is also getting expensive and we're only part-time travelers but we know just from our part-time travel experience that the added expense of this is is actually really starting to add up so what we did was a little bit of research and came up with a solution on how we can make our own bags and it saves us a lot of money. The combination of, of one eco gel along with one bag comes to over $4 a bag now. The system that we come up with has comes out to less than a dollar a bag. I believe it's about 96 cents a bag. We'll put the uh, breakdown and the product links in the description below. So this is what we're gonna use. We use these Trip Tips toilet bags. They're made for this they're made to go in a toilet they're made they fit the different styles canister toilets bucket toilets seat toilets that's what they're designed for they're black so you still have the secrecy factor of uh you know we don't want everybody to see what we're carrying to the dumpster right because that's just gross but these le these do not leak like it, at least 95% of the time, they're made not to leak. Um, but accidents happen in manufacturing. Every once in a while, you might have a pinhole on one of them or somewhat. So, you know, I'm not going to say that they don't leak 100% of the time. And for that reason, um, we come up with a double bag system because when you're in your van, you can't have any leaks. I mean, this is the place you live. This is the place you sleep. This is the place you cook. It's not not what you want. So we came up with this double system, but double bag system using a two gallon Ziploc style bag. And with that, we can put the black bag inside the Ziploc bag. Gives you the double system, easy portability. It's got the double zipper on it. And lastly, what we use is this urine solidifying gel. And it works exactly the same as the Eco Gel. It is degradable. Um, it does have a scent to it. It is a deodorizer. It does not, it's not as loud as the Eco Gel. Like I said, the Eco Gel has this wonderful, wonderful lemon scent. This one has a little bit of scent to it, but it's not like, oh, I'm not over the moon about it. You know what I'm saying? But it does the job and that's all that matters. You know, it, it does control the odor. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you outside in the garage and I'm gonna show you how we put the bag together and how it fits into our toilet system and how easy it is to dispose it. And you can judge for yourself. Is it worth the savings? I think so. All right, so here we go. We've got our two gallon bag. Inside of it, we have our black toilet bag. And we have our gel. It's as easy as this. Hey, as you know, we keep in the toilet concealment system that we came up with, we keep a bucket inside of here. Uh, just a third layer of precaution for us. Um, we have a small van, it's an E350, not a big old class B or a Sprinter, so small area and we like to try and keep everything as contained as possible and with this there's like 100 percent chance of no leak so the first thing you do is you take your two gallon bag and you put it down in your bucket just as you would with the other type of bag it's, the only difference is this bag is not attached to the inside of this bag as it is with the other one 
take your portable toilet bag, stick it down in there, get it spread out. Close your lid down. And the last thing we would do is put in our gel. The reason we put this in last and we don't put it in ahead of time as we're pre-making these bags, because I pre-make several bags at a time, stick them inside one of the two-gallon Ziplocs, or actually in the one-gallon Ziploc, seal them up. We store them right in there. So the reason we don't put this in ahead of time is because we found out with the other bags that we were buying, if they included an eco gel or any kind of solidifying gel in there, you really want to spread these bags out. You want to give that maximum floor space in the bottom of this bag. And the reason for that is, you know, you don't want things piling up. You're going to be putting paper in there um, along with other things. And so you want that stuff to go to the bottom. If you can spread your bag out good like this, then it can go to the bottom. If you have powder in there already, that powder gets all over your hands. And that's kind of gross, you know? I mean, it, it, it's environmentally friendly, but it's, it's still gross. And this way you can spread the bag out. Then you pour your cap full, put your single cap full in there, and, and you're good to go for processing anywhere from a half a gallon to a gallon of urine. Um, half a gallon solidifies pretty tight. Uh, a gallon does a good enough job that you don't have to worry about slushes or anything like that. Um, and then there you go. That, that's ready to go. Um, disposal, same as the old bags. You take this, twist it up like you do with the old bags, push it down into the Ziploc, zip it closed, Ziplocs are never my forte. Zip it closed. Carry it down to the dumpster. Nobody knows what's in it. Nice and private. The cost comparison, like I said, is in the video description below. Um, we've saved a lot of money going this route. And we hope that we'll be able to save you a little bit of money too.